Hello everyone, my name is Enderans, your somewhat active fellow Ankeeper. Today, as you can already tell, we're going to be doing an update on my Brachybermix Patagonicus 2 Queen Colony, and this time we're going to be moving them into the Talus Formicarium. And with that out of the way, let's continue on with the video. Oh, and if you have Instagram, be sure to follow me on there. I post pictures of my ants, new colonies, or even sneak peeks on my newest videos. So be sure to follow me on there. Here is a picture of one of my Brachymerix Patagonicus queens inside the Talisform Aquarium. So here is the Brachymerix Patagonicus colony. As you can see, it's just the same old, same old two queens, and also a small batch of eggs. So I then place them inside the outworld of the Talus Formicarium. And I remove the cotton ball and also their small food dish. And almost immediately, one of the queen ants begins to check the open end of the test tube, only to return back to the other queen. Now, the same queen did this for about not once, not twice. Not three times, but five times over the course of about 20 minutes until I decided to just move the entire test tube to the entrance of the actual formicarium. And this is when that one curious queen ant finally makes her adventure into the Talus formicarium. Now I noticed that this shot was actually pretty cool in my opinion, so then afterwards I just took a few shots and then I posted that on my Instagram. But the queen seemed very, very small in this actually big formicarium. I wasn't expecting it to be this large for this queen, since this is going to be their permanent home for the time being. Eventually, the second queen decides to take a peek inside the formicarium, but nope, she jukes me out and she goes back into the test tube to guard her eggs. The first queen, however, continues her journey inside the Talus formicarium, and I really think that she enjoys this new home. The next day passes, and the two queen colonies still haven't moved into the Talus Formicarium. I was expecting this to maybe happen, so I decided to move the test tube into the sand and just let them move on in their own. Or they can use this as their outworld. But I noticed something straight off the bat once I checked the test tube. One, one of the queen ants was not there. Two, I saw a little hole on the other side of the Formicarium. So what happened was that one of the queen ants decided to get out of the test tube and go and make her own claustral cell. But after I noticed that she made her own claustral cell, I decided to go and check under the Talus Formicarium and found that this queen laid a batch of eggs. But now what worries me the most is that since the queens are no longer in a confined area, the first to gain workers may hunt down the other queen and kill her. So what do you guys think? Should I move out one of the queens, or should I just leave them in the Talus Formicarium and hope for the best? But that will be all for this update on the Bratch Mimics Patagonicus colony, so thank you guys so much for watching until the end. My name is Enderance, another fellow ant YouTuber, and I'm signing off once again.